dear students under the topic radius of curvature here we are we have been asked to find the radius of curvature at any point p of the parabola given by its parametric equations x equals at square and y equals 2at so now the equation of the parabola is given here in the parametric form so we have to find the radius of curvature for this so first of all we shall take x equals at square and differentiate this x with respect to t so we get dx by dt is equal to so what is the differentiation a is a constant and t square the differentiation of t square is 2t so this becomes 2 this a t and then in a similar way we shall take y equals 2 a t and differentiate this with respect to t so we get dy by dt is equal to the differentiation of 2 uh, and a they are constants so they come as it is and the differentiation of t because is 1 so we get only 2a now using these two we have to find dy by dx so what is dy by dx it is given by dy by dt divided by dx by dt so whenever we have x and y in the parametric form dy by dx can be written like this so that is equal to what is dy by dt it is 2a divided by dx by dt is 2at so we shall write that here so we observe that these two gets cancelled and we get dy by dx to be equal to 1 by t now using this so that is dy by dx is equal to 1 by t now using this we shall find d square y by dx square that is we are differentiating this with respect to x so we get d squared y divided by dx square to be equal to what is the differentiation of 1 by t we know that it is minus 1 by t square because uh, 1 by t can be written as t to the power minus 1 and by using the x power n formula it will be nx power n minus 1 so minor, the differentiation of this will be minus 1 t to the power minus 1 minus 1 which is minus t power minus 2 and so we get 1 uh, minus 1 by t square. So this is how we have got the, uh, got, uh, the differentiation of 1 by t and that is minus 1 by t square and again we have to differentiate t whose differentiation is dt by dx because we are differentiating this with respect to x. So dt by dx. But what is dt by dx? It is obtained from here. That is, I um, mean uh, here, this one. dx by dt is 2at. So dt by dx will be 1 by 2at. So we shall substitute that. So minus 1 by t squared multiplied with this dt by dx can be written as 1 by 2at. And so we get this to be equal to minus 1 by 2a t cube. So d squared y by dx square we have obtained as minus 1 by 2a t cube. Now using dy by dx and d square y by dx square we can find the radius of curvature which is, which is given by the formula rho equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square whole raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square which is equal to 1 plus what is dy by dx it is here that is dy by dx is 1 by t so we can substitute that so we get 1 by t square because we are having whole square here whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square it is this that we have obtained so minus 1 by 2 a t cube now in the numerator we can take the lcm and we can write this as t square is the lcm and we will be having t squared plus 1 raised to the power 3 by 2 and then divided by minus 1 by 2 a t cube so further that is equal to t squared plus 1 divided by t 
60 squared the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied with minus because I am just uh, taking this denominator. So denominator of the denominator becomes the numerator. So this becomes minus 2a t cube. Now further this can be this power can be separated and it can be written as I will just rewrite it as 1 plus t square the whole power 3 by 2 divided by t square to the power 3 by 2 multiplied with minus 2 a t cube and so that is equal to this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and this t cube gets cancelled with this t cube and so we get minus 2 a multiplied with 1 plus t squared raised to the power 3 by 2. So therefore the radius of curvature for the given parabola which is given in the parametric form is this that is minus 2a multiplied with 1 plus t squared the whole power 3 by 2. Hope you have understood this problem. Uh, this is a uh, hope this uh, th this simplification is being understood by you because uh, this squared and this 2 I am getting ca I am cancelling it and this cube gets cancelled with this t cube because it is t cube and this is t cube it gets cancelled and so finally we get this as the solution. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.